This guy's selling $40,000 a month with 31 reviews and three and a half star rating. What is going on here? As you can see here, this guy has one picture also. He's selling with one picture. That's it. Just one picture with two, a three and a half star ratings with 31 reviews. That's, that's a joke. That's what? Guys, do you see how easy it is to find products that sell? Hey, what's up everyone, Yaniv here, and today we're gonna do a product research method for you guys. Uh, before we get into this video, please like the video, hit the, hit the like button, maybe we can get like 20 likes below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what kind of videos you wanna see. Seriously guys, I take all your videos, uh, ideas into account. When I make this, I'm doing this for you guys. So, you know, let me know down below what kind of videos you want me to see if you, uh, you want me to make, if you want me to make more product research videos, because I think a lot of you guys were, were asking me for this, so that's why I'm making this video. But let me know down below what other videos you guys want me to make. And don't forget that we still have that giveaway going on for 25 winners this time. Last time only one winner was, was picked, but this time I made a new giveaway where 25 winners are gonna be selected for a 15 minute one-on-one -on -one personal mentorship call with me. And we're gonna go over everything you guys need to do. You can be at any point in the Amazon business, like your, your Amazon uh, cycle, if you're just starting off, or if you already have a bunch of products in, I still wanna hear from you guys and I'll help you guys out with whatever problems you guys have or whatever questions you guys want me to help you with today we're going to talk about uh, or rather I'm going to show you guys a product research method I've already showed this one before but I think that you guys you know there have been a lot of new subscribers in, in recent times so I'm going to show you guys a great product research method that I do and uh, we'll just go over it and, and we're going to see you know the different types of products I find it why some products are good and why some products are bad and I'll explain to you guys all that right now so uh, if you guys don't know jungle scout is the you know my, my favorite method to use there's actually gonna be a link in the description if you guys want to grab that it's super essential for you know be a product research needs and for everything you have like for finding a product guys if you don't get jungle scout or if you don't get a product research method like a tool I don't want to be the guy to say it but you guys are just wasting your time and it's much worse if you pick a product that's bad and then lose your money on that product it's gonna cost you a lot more than just the product research tool uh, like jungle scout so if you guys are interested grab that link down below and it's gonna really help you guys to your product research it's gonna really show you guys if the product you're about to invest in is good or bad don't take the risk on just buying a product grab that jungle scout and then and, and I'll show you guys exactly how to use it jungle scout again has two different variations there's the web app which I'm going to show you guys how to use and the Chrome extension which I'll show you guys later which kind of uh, backs up and, and kind of verifies uh, how much each product is making this is the web app and I'm sure a lot of you guys already know this but uh, this is kind of how it looks like so um, I'm going to show you guys what kind of criteria I use to find my products pretty much you just put your criteria into this um, software and it's going to put out uh, it's going to show you products that fit those specific criteria under categories I wouldn't select all I'm just going to select the ones I think are pretty good Artscraft sewing is good baby beauty i have other videos where i explain which categories are good but i'm just going to click the ones that i like to look at pet health and household home and kitchen home improvement industrial kitchen dining you can do office products is great patio lawn garden a lot of seasonal products i've already told you guys this pet supplies too competitive sports and outdoors ah, i'm not going to do sports and outdoors this time tools and home improvement toys and games video so i don't do sports and outdoors just because there's a lot of uh, clothing brands in there and a lot of seasonal products so i'm going to keep that one out it's also incredibly competitive but guys feel free to do that if you guys are interested in it. it's uh you know, there's a lot of great products you can find in there. So price, I would say, again, I always say it depends on your budget. What I like to look for, because I kind of have a little bit of a bigger budget for you guys, maybe go a little bit lower. But remember, the lower your price point, the more competitive it's gonna be and the more people are gonna be looking for those products. So if you guys are wanna stay ahead one step of the game, pick prices that are a little bit more expensive, keep them under $50 because $50 is kind of low, where it becomes too high, where you know people do less impulse buying. So keep below $50, that's a great price point. So I'm gonna do, let's say 24, 76. Again, keep your numbers very random so people aren't looking for the same products as you to something kind of random like that. So that's the price point I use. Net, I don't really use. Rank, don't really use. Estimated sales, let's just keep that blank for now. Estimated revenue. So guys, you have to understand, you don't have to always go for the absolute like mind-blowing products that are gonna make you $50,000 a month because every single person is looking for that. But if you just find some products that even make you $5,000 a month, it's gonna absolutely change your life. And all you have to do to get to 50,000 is get 10 of those and that equals 50,000 guys. So maybe, you know, with a little bit more work, you will still get there. So remember, estimated revenue, let's just do, let's say from 5,000 to, let's say uh, let's say up to 10,000 views uh, number of reviews now guys it depends on if you're a new seller and you don't really know what you're doing definitely stay away from the super high reviews but if you kind of do know a little bit how the whole system works then definitely you can compete with high reviews I would say if it's your first product let's let this for the sake of this video let's do 59 and 100 and 
46. Now, remember guys, you can still compete with people who have 100 reviews. You don't have to look for people who have like 10 reviews because every single person are looking at those. So kind of stay away from those if you can. Let's do this. So uh, rating. So rating, I wouldn't touch for now because rating doesn't really matter, but let's just do depends, right? If you want to kind of improve on the product, then you can find 3.5 star products and, uh, and improve on them and then make them four star products. But let's just leave that blank for now. Weight. Uh, we'll do a max of two pounds. Number of sellers, we're gonna leave that blank. And listing quality, we're gonna leave blank. On the side here, you wanna do standard. Um, you can look at oversized, but oversized nowadays, especially with the new uh, Amazon, uh, you know, FBA fee re reach, like they changed up the fees. So it kind of, for oversized, you gotta pay a lot more for their uh, pick and pack fees. So uh, be careful with oversized if you can do that. But let's just look at sellers, Amazon, filled by Amazon and merchant. We can leave all those in. And let's just press search so let's see what happens also put your results per page 200 because you don't really want to have like you know you don't want to keep scrolling through pages so just change it to 200 so you can see a lot at once so i found a thousand one hundred fourteen products now at this point you guys can just go through every single one if you want to that's going to take quite a while but product research is the most important part so if it's going to take you a while just sit there sift through it and you'll find a product i guarantee you there's at least one product in that 1114 that is going to be an absolute home run product i guarantee it so if you guys can just you know for example if you guys get like a thousand searches and you just go through every single one you're definitely going to find a product without a doubt you just need to know what you're looking for and that's why i make this these videos so you guys can see my thought process and you can kind of recreate that when you're doing your own product research let's just go through this stuff and what we're doing is we're trying to find products that are kind of bought from china manufactured in china and we just want to sell them on amazon so um they're kind of generic things that you look for very generic products that you, you know if you think it can be made in china it probably can so what we're going to look here is uh just find products that kind of look like they're made in China. Again, there's a lot of products that are patented and trademarked, you know, have all this kind of stuff, this kind of real stuff to them. So be careful when you're doing this. But in this video, I'm not really gonna show you about uh, how to find patents and trademarks and, and all that kind of stuff. But I will just try to find products that are good. And then, you know, the due diligence is done after the fact. So let's just get right into it. Let's stop wasting time here. Uh, so this glass, I have seen this before, kind of interesting, very fragile, right? So a lot of people probably staying away from it. But it could be a great product it's making ten thousand dollars a month so that's that's amazing so let's just keep looking through here you just want to find products again that are third party sellers which means that they are made from china work gloves could be great stay away from that batteries i would always stay away from they have a lot of rules to get those into the country and to sell on amazon very very sketchy i would stay away from those tape maybe probably not just looking for really interesting things so this is kind of interesting let's just open this one and see what happens here making eight thousand dollars a month which is absolutely crazy which means because he, that means he's probably profiting around four or five thousand dollars us per month which i'm sure you know that's pretty much a full-time income guys from one product so that's pretty crazy in itself so we're just going to keep them open and we're going to find those after fermenting lids that's interesting guaranteed that can be made in china and it's eight thousand six hundred dollars i have a mineral a tonic interesting okay this five layer bamboo charcoal pretty interesting let's just keep that open there as well photography backdrops definitely something that can be made in china kind of interesting let's see where that takes us so pretty much what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna open up a bunch of things here that i think are pretty interesting and i'll probably just do one or two pages just to show you guys but um you guys are gonna see what i do after once i open it's not just the first step of finding the product then there's a step afterwards i'll show you guys on how you can find related products that might even be better than what you just found so we'll get into that but for now let's just keep looking this is pretty interesting guys this is a portable glass teacup with a lid or something but you know what it's kind of unique because uh it's it's some cap stuff so <laughs> i'm sure there's a market for that. that's making ten thousand dollars a month so we'll keep that one in there and again we're gonna keep looking guys stay away from baby bib bibs they're so so competitive if you do find them they are a good product but they're so so competitive that there's so many people selling it you're probably not going to get through the you know wave of, of of new sellers so be careful with that product kind of stay away from it if you if you can um Baby products in general are very, very competitive nowadays. So obviously, you know, because it's such a profitable niche to be in, but be careful when you go into baby. Nursery lamp, again, super, super awesome. Kind of, it's a, it's a nursery lamp, but it's a, it's a elephant nursery ramp, uh, lamp. So that makes it a little bit more unique, you know, more unique than just a nursery lamp. So let's just keep looking. Automatic can opener, 
electric for seniors and arthritic hands. Great product, very niche, very awesome, and could be a great niche to sell, you know, for, for kind of arthritis help, you know, with like difficult product uh, problems that they might be having, such as opening a can. So that's definitely something that people might be, uh, you know, looking for. And they will spend money on stuff like that because they don't really have a choice, as unfortunate as that is. So, you know, you are fulfilling a need there with that product. Shampoo bowl neck rest? <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Let's keep that one open just because it, it kind of is like some sort of weird product, I guess. Or I think it's something to lie down on maybe when you're taking a bubble bath or something. I don't know. But we'll keep that one open because that, you know, piques my interest. Birdius window bird feeder, large scroll proof. Okay, so that's a seasonal product coming up now because, you know, winter's coming to a close. So, you know, maybe get ready if you want to get some summer products in here. Start looking for them now because as soon as you get them in, they're going to start, you know, increasing in their in their sales and you can come in and profit from that. So seasonal products, don't be afraid of those. Just, just make sure that you know how to sell them properly. See, as I said, Blue Birdhouse, some, some other, uh, you know, some other birdhouse is being sold now. So now you're going to see a lot of birdhouses coming up because a lot of people are getting ready for summer. So get ready guys, if you want to, you know, birdhouses might not be a bad niche to sell. Okay, so we've just looked through 200 uh, items, the first page of the the whole jungle scout, that, like all the stuff that it spit out to me. So let's just, you know, for now, take a break and go look at all the products we had open and see which ones are actually good. So we're going to actually, you know, do a little bit um, more in-depth research on the products that we just opened. I'll show you guys how to do that and how to make sure that those products are actually really, really good to sell and that, uh, you know, Jungle Scout web app is not just lying to us. So let's just make sure that these are actually good products to sell. Okay, so the first product we got opened up here, as you guys remember, is the three barrel curling iron. Um, so this was pretty interesting to me because I know this stuff is super popular with, uh, you know, uh, girls and hair products nowadays. So let's just open up the Jungle Scout and make sure that it was it was making the same amount of money that it does promise it was making on the web app. Okay, so it is making $11,300 per month. That is actually more than it was than we, than it said it was making on the uh, web app, which is actually really, really great. It has 68 reviews, which is not too high, but it might be a pretty uh, competitive niche. Now, this product is uh, making around 400 sales per month, uh, making around 11,000 again, which is super, super nice. And um, this could be a great product. So let's again open up the Jungle Scout and you can see if there are any related products. So in this case, there aren't any that are super, super good. So this one is pretty much the same thing as that. It is making $57,000 a month, almost, uh, has a four star review, but um, it has 156, uh, sorry, it has a four star, yeah, four star rating and 156 reviews. So what you wanna do now is you wanna go into all departments and let's just type in three barrel curling iron, just to see how uh, crazy the niche is, if it's super, super competitive or not, because if not, it might be a pretty interesting thing to go into. So once you do get to this to this page, you want to open up. So there are a lot of them. You want to open up your Jungle Scout. Once it does open up, you kind of get a sense for the niche. So there's one guy here who has 4,600 reviews and is making $171,000 a month, which means that it's kind of a, a saturated niche. It's not the same thing, actually. So it's not the actual same thing, but it is a curling iron of some sort. See, the opportunity score is a three. I would probably stay away from this niche just because it is kind of competitive. But look, there are people here who have uh, kind of the same thing making, oops, sorry about that, kind of the same thing making, uh, you know, $7,000 a month with only 11 reviews. So uh, with a three and a half star rating. So this actually might be a pretty good product to sell. Again, it's kind of competitive. So maybe for your first product, stay away from this one. Let's look into the next product we had open up here, the six pack fermenting lid kit which is super interesting because I think last year I had been doing some product research and I had found it there as well and I didn't end up doing it. So let's see why. Let's see. Maybe it has changed. Maybe the niche is a little bit better now. Um, so again, there aren't many related items in this in this situation. Oh, there they are. So as you can see here, there's a six pack and there's an eight pack. This one, the pictures are kind of different and, and uh, that's probably why this picture is a lot nicer than this one, which is probably why it's having it has so many more sales. Uh, listing quality might be better. There's another one here making fourteen thousand dollars a month with seventy-one reviews. That's a pretty, pretty awesome, uh, pretty awesome product. This one's a five-pack. Uh, let's open up. So, so what you do is you come here and you open up uh, this this product right here. You can click on it and it will open up a new tab where then you can look at more related products or you can analyze it better. So, in this case, let's just look back at uh, the product that we had opened up here 
and just see maybe it is a good product so let's just see the listing let's see the stuff like that so as you can see it's a four and four and a half star 62 reviews not too much not too not too crazy uh, it has you know this can definitely be be sourced in China and the pictures are pretty good actually so this guy has some some pretty uh, pretty nice pictures uh, which which you know makes it a little bit more difficult competing with them but it's definitely possible he's only got 60 reviews so let's just go up to all departments and we're gonna search up just to see you know just to see the niche and how uh, crazy the niche is or if it's if it's competitive or if it's not we can quickly see that by typing in uh, fermenting lid kit and and we'll kind of just see what comes up when we do this and we can analyze if the if the niche is too competitive or not I'll tell you what I think and, and why I think it's so competitive or, or if it's not competitive so when we get here obviously you want to see okay the sponsored products they don't have too many reviews there's one guy who's selling a lot he's got a thousand reviews and he's he's obviously number one position that's kind of a that's kind of a crazy uh, amount of reviews but he is he is he has been around for a long time uh, he has a five star or two, which is which is kind of great because probably his product is really really good. Um, so let's just see again. It doesn't look like the the niche is too competitive. Now that I'm looking at it quickly, obviously there's that one guy who's making probably a killing, and, and we can double check that by opening up our jungle scout and see. But if there is only one guy making around like has a thousand reviews, it's still possible to compete with it, right? So for example, this guy he's making forty two thousand dollars a month almost, right, with a thousand reviews. But then see this guy, this the guy that we saw. He's in the third organic position, and he's making ten thousand dollars. So even though you know he's not making forty-two thousand, he, he's still making ten thousand, which is really, really good. And I guarantee a lot of you guys would be very happy with with uh, ten thousand. I guarantee I would be very happy with the extra ten thousand a month. So it's it's really it's really not a big deal. This is definitely a product you can look into. Again, eight thousand with eight reviews. So you can clearly see that you know there are products here making money with not so many reviews. Just need to have a good listing clearly because this this niche you can see. You know they have some pretty decent pictures you definitely have to have professional pictures and good pictures when you're gonna do it because um, they definitely matter now obviously in this situation you can see that this guy has orange tips like an orange uh, lid tip and this one has a red so maybe that is a difference uh, right there so maybe people are for some reason more interested in, in an orange tip you guys have to make sure because color kind of really matters so if you're changing up a product in terms of color or stuff like that you want to copy the color of the best-selling person so if I were to go into this niche which maybe for your first product again it's it wouldn't be the best but again look there are people who make money and they don't have any reviews here not many reviews so maybe it would be a pretty decent product to go into you just have to check what the price is on Alibaba and kind of see uh, if you can actually profit in this uh, but if you can, it would be a pretty good product to go into. And if I did go into it, I would definitely get professional pictures, 100%. Some niches you can get away with with not having professional pictures, but this one you definitely have to get. Also, a second thing I would say, you would definitely have to find a, a uh, orange tip, right? Get an orange tip, not a red one. And again, also another thing I see really quickly here is that they actually have some sort of um, box here, like a box. So yeah, it definitely does have a box. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, that's, that's a box. So definitely want to have a box and it has some sort of, I think, yeah, tips and tricks. So that's for sure. You can't go without that. So if you were going to compete in this niche, you're going to need to have uh, one, the box. So you need to have a nice box with, uh, you know, whatever, make it look nice. I'm sure you can make it look nicer than that. So uh, definitely make a really nice box and have a, um, a fermenting tips and tricks book that looks really, really good with really good value and a lot of, uh, you know, information jam packed in there. So that's something, again, obviously the super uh, nice pictures, these aren't that nice. I just think he's been around for a while and uh, that's why. He also has, I guess, some books or something, guys. So just definitely make sure that you're, you're gonna copy what he's doing and improve on it. So definitely make that happen. I'm sure you guys can compete with them with that and even for sure with him. So let's leave that for now. Let's look for look at this product that we also opened up. So this one is a little bit interesting. Also, it's kind of a different one. It's a silicone one. Um, it's just that, that silicone lid right there, which means that it's probably pretty cheap to make right off the bat. Silicone's pretty cheap. Um, and let's just open up the jungle scout just to double check again uh, what it's looking like how much money it's making and maybe it related products to this as well so really quickly you can see that he's making almost fifteen thousand dollars a month in revenue with 71 reviews that's absolutely crazy and just you know again this guy's a little bit different so he kind of did a little bit something a little unique he did um, he didn't do these these plastic ones he did a silicone one so if we go back into uh, the search and we just search up really quickly we'll search up uh, silicone uh, silicone silicone um, what were they called 
fermenting fermentation lids. Okay, let's say it's ferment fermenting lids, right? And see what comes up here. So really quickly, you can see that he's number one in silicone. And there's a few more. This guy has no reviews whatsoever. This is not silicone, and this is silicone, uh, who is really expensive for some reason. I don't know why it's so expensive, but he's selling for $52. I guess he has weights also or something. Um, let's open up the Jungle Scout and just see which silicone ones are making money. Because right here, you can find a sub niche of a product that is selling really, really well, guys. And this is a great product to sell. This guy literally has no reviews. Zero. Zero reviews on this product and he's making two thousand dollars a month zero guys this is how you find a product this guy just found himself in a niche where it really competitive fermenting lid kits are very competitive so it's a really competitive niche but he found a you know a twist on it where this guy came in he has only 70 reviews and he's making fifteen thousand dollars a month this guy has zero reviews and he's making two thousand dollars a month now again that's not that great but as soon as he gets some reviews guys he's gonna start selling you know ten thousand dollars a month easily easily so right there that's a really great product that is super super cheap uh to make guaranteed and he's selling it for twenty dollars that is crazy this guy's selling for twenty he's doing some premium stuff too if he was selling for fifteen dollars he would be making probably like five thousand dollars a month with zero reviews so that's a great way that you guys can find a great product this is an awesome product to sell this silicone one and uh you can definitely find a spot in the niche with it even though it says it's a five on competitive score um that's because fermentation lids as a whole are competitive which are showing up here too but silicone ones in specific are not competitive whatsoever there aren't that many of them um and and they're you like most of them are making really really great money so there's a few here but these ones are let me see how much these ones are actually making. let's open up this one these pictures aren't that great though that's the thing these pictures aren't too great but let's open up this one and see how much money this one's making now i feel like the one who had zero reviews was making a good amount of money because his colors were nicer and also because maybe his listing were better and his pictures were better um and he was only selling for 20 dollars. this guy's selling for 24 dollars. let's just see how much this guy's actually making just to double check if uh, my thoughts are correct if the other guy's making more money or not. So for some reason, it's not showing me the actual revenue. I think it's because it's in a weird category for some reason. Um, so I don't know why, but it's not showing me the, the actual revenue. It's Amazon Launchpad. Um, so I guess it's, it's it, you know, the Jungle Scout can't really read that one. So uh, I do guarantee he's making a lot of money though. It's, it's, it's doing pretty well. So what we can also do here is since there's a lot of, you know, related products here, we can go through it and look if there's any interesting products to sell here as well. So again, I'm telling you, there's so many different kinds of variations. This is like super, look, so this one, right, we've seen this one before, another four pack fermentation kit. That's something else uh, that's that's there, that's related apparently. It's a ninth, almost $10,000 product here, set of 10 stainless steel sprouting. So here's another great product to sell, $15, guys, it's selling for, it's like nine reviews, and it's another kind of mason, mason jar lid kit for something, right? Um, so these mason jar lid kits are super, super, popular and are making a lot of money and it's absolutely crazy how many variations there's silicone which making a ton of money there's regular which making a lot of ton, a ton of money there's plastic which making a, a ton of money there's a steel and and um glass ones that are making a killing so guys there's so many different niches even in fermentation kits which are such a niche in itself that are selling so so well so that's something that you know that's a great product to sell and i think at any single you know point in your amazon you know if, uh, business if that's your first product or your 10th product it's a great product to sell. you can make a ton of money now let's keep going here and let's see what else we've opened up so these are these are cloth diapers actually uh so i don't know if i want to see these or if i want to look at these uh but um, they're currently unavailable. Anyways, I think we're gonna actually skip over these for now because I wouldn't kind of do, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get into something like that. But let's see here. We've got uh, some sort of photography backdrop, which are really cool. Let's see how much money they're making. Just double check the money. If it is what matches up with the web app, what the web app told us, which is great. It's 8,500 uh, a month with 77 reviews. Again, incredible product. This guy has a ton of different variations that you can buy. So. You know, if you if you want to get into these photography stuff, yeah, you're gonna to have to do a lot of variations, which is why actually for a first product, I would stay away from it. But if you are actually you know an experienced seller on Amazon, great product to sell. You know, a lot of variations which are kind of hard to keep up with, uh, just because variations do you know some of them are more popular than others, and it's kind of hard to keep them all in inventory. But great product to sell. Here's something uh, incredible I just found in related products. This is why you always want to open up related products and look into them. This guy's selling 
$40,000 a month with 31 reviews and three and a half star rating. What is going on here? It's a unicorn rainbow happy birthday sign. That's crazy. And he's got another one, which is a magical unicorn bottle wraps. What is a bottle wrap? That's crazy. Let's open these up and see what's going on here. These POP parties is uh, is the brand selling it. Unbelievable profits there. Um, they are selling for really cheap, which means that the profit margin probably isn't too high. But when you're selling it at you know 4,000 units a month, it's absolutely crazy. This one I would stay away from just because there's a lot of variations, which would scare uh, a lot of people away again, which means that it is a good product to sell if you want to take that challenge on yourself. Again, I would, wouldn't advise that for new sellers just because it's a lot of work keeping up with all the inventory for all the different types of uh, you know variations. So let's close this one for now. That's the reason why I wouldn't do that one. So as you can see here, this guy has one picture also. He's selling with one picture, that's it. Just one picture with two, a three and a half star ratings with 31 reviews. That's, that's a joke. That's, what? Guys, do you see how easy it is to find products that sell? People complain about product research, but guys, if you're doing it the right way, there's a lot of products to find. There's so many products to sell. People are asking, is Amazon, is Amazon dead? Is it still possible to make money? I'm showing you guys firsthand. I'm just sat down with you guys. I'm doing a you know, pretty decent, decently long product research session with you. But you guys can see how many products I found that were that were viable in, 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 in this little amount of time. Now, if you guys are you know scared of investing in your first product, I think that's the biggest mistake. People are, are just scared to invest in the product. I spoke to different people that uh, are kind of different Amazon sellers and asked them how long it take, took them to actually start the business. A lot of people were procrastinating just because they were scared of writing that writing that check. Um, but if you just write the check, get into it, you know, start selling, right? Like if you even if you do lose your money on the first time, which it's really really hard to lose money on Amazon, you're usually going to get away with um, either breaking even or profiting, right? You're just going to take some time. But even if you do invest like 500 bucks, you can get a really small tiny test order and make sure that the product is good. If you're if you're really you know bootstrapping with this Amazon business thing. You can really just get into a product with like maybe 250 units, just test out the market. And then, um, you know, if it's good, reorder. If not, just find a new product, it's not a big deal, right? Um, because it's really, really hard to lose your money on Amazon. Uh, so that's 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 the biggest thing. Now, this is actually sold by Amazon, which, um, you know, means that it, it's probably a little bit more competitive because people want to buy it from Amazon rather than from a third party seller, but definitely a great product to sell. Another thing we can do is we can actually go into the, uh, the storefront of the seller and I'm really interested because he's got two products that are selling really really well that are like you know kind of branded this unicorn stuff so you can see here right if we just go into oh I just did the wrong thing sorry if you want to go into the actual brand of the product of the person selling it you want to press back and you want to get into POP parties Inc okay so that's right there sold by POP parties Inc and filled by Amazon so click on the storefront name click on the storefront once again here you can see their feedback obviously click on their storefront and you can see all the products that they sell. Once you get in here, you can also open up Jungle Scout. It's going to show you all the, you know, all the different, um, like all the m money that each product is making under this one storefront. Now, this guy is really, really specializing in the whole happy birthday side thing. He's got like 10 pages of stuff. So let's just open up this thing and let's see which other ones sell really, really well. So he's obviously doing some party stuff and he has products that are selling like crazy. Oh my God, look at all these products making all this money. Even the products that are making 3,000, like he's still profiting $1,500 a month from this. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. He's, you know, their products making 12,000 with 11 reviews, 8,000, 30 reviews, 10,000 or 11,000, 19 reviews, 25,156 reviews, 40,031 reviews. This is crazy. What an incredible product to go into. What an incredible, uh, you know, kind of brand this guy has built on Amazon. Dude, this little happy birthday signs. The listing is, is shit. The pictures are not so good. The the quality of the of the text is bad. He's really not doing much here, guys. He's just throwing stuff up here, and it's really, really working for him. This is how easy it is to build. This is the beauty of building a brand on Amazon. This is the beauty of you know how easy it is to actually get it done if you really know what you're doing and if you really you know try hard and, and actually you know put all your all effort you know all your effort into this. It, it's so possible, and this guy's clearly shown how easy it is. These products cost absolutely nothing to manufacture from China, and he's selling them 
for not too expensive so he's probably profiting you know a few dollars here and there but once you add up his all his storefront he's got you know probably I, I would say maybe 100 products that he's selling here and all he's doing is just he found a manufacturer that makes all different types of happy birthday signs he bought them you know every single one probably a hundred a hundred order uh, units of each toss toss them up on Amazon sees what sticks and reorders the ones that are good and that's how you make a killing on Amazon what that that's definitely one way of making a killing he's really showing you uh, how, how to do that one and look another one just this this little like bottle wrap who, who buys this stuff but apparently people buy it and it's absolutely crazy made in made in the USA I highly doubt that but uh, maybe it is I'm sure you can find it in, in, uh, in China as well one picture again not super great the listing is not amazing guys this is this is amazing product to sell so that's that's super awesome and right there you can see a great product to sell um, definitely look into stuff like that you know stuff that is really cheap also as long as it's selling a, you know a lot of quantities you can definitely make a killing on it as well let's look at this next product that we opened it's a what was it oh yeah it's the cute cat tail glass uh, really awesome it's 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 a um, it's a tea glass or a teapot like strainer kind of thing where um, you can also drink from it I think yeah I think that's what it is so this kind of look, looks branded, has a video, so it might be a branded product, so definitely check the patents before you would go ahead and buy this, but let's let's just say that it's not for this case, right, For this uh, in this scenario. Let's just see what the jungle scout is, just to make sure that it's still making the money that the web app said it was. $8,000 with 100 reviews, that's pretty good stuff. Let's see if there's any uh, interesting related products to sell. Not looking too good, there's one here with $22,000, 178 reviews. Uh, let's see what that is cartoon animal socks. Okay, we're gonna stay away from socks uh, Here's another one. That's cool. Uh, that's another kind of tea uh, cat tea mug thing Okay, so let's just type in the main keyword because it actually might be a pretty good product Considering you know, we're, we're actually just if we if if it is patented It's not a good product obviously, but you got to do your, your due, due, due diligence afterwards uh, but in this case, let's just double check that this product is actually a good product. So let's see how the actual whole niche is. So once you do find a product, obviously you want to go in and you want to type in uh, cat tail glass tea cup. Okay, I think that's the main keyword. Or we can even write cat tea cup. Let's just write cat tea, cat glass tea cup. Let's see how that works. And we're going to see if there are more people selling it. Usually if there's a lot of people selling it which means it's not patented, but again, still double check guys, because remember that story, if you wanna see uh, the video how I lost $3,500, making a huge mistake with uh, my, you know, doing my patent due diligence, you can check it up right up there, I'll leave a link for you guys to check that one, that video out is absolutely crazy, I lost uh, a ton of money, so if you guys can take something from that, go watch that video, it's gonna tell you about uh, some patent, uh, patent stuff, so definitely a great video to watch. Uh, but let's get back into this. You guys can see here that there are actually quite a few people selling this cat mug thing. There's a there's a different one as well. Let's just see which one is selling better and uh, which ones we would want to sell. So uh, theoretically speaking, right, again, if this was not patented, right, let's see which one would be good. So let's open that up now. Okay, real quickly, I can tell that this is probably not a great niche to go into just because it's kind of sketching me out the fact that everyone's not making that much money. So that's it. That's all I need to see. The main keyword's not making that much money. It's pretty low demand. So I would say do not do this product just because of the demand on this. There's kind of a lot of people selling very similar stuff, but not a lot of demand. So stay away from that one. We're not going to do that. Let's see this one. I remember this, the nursery lamp. That's great. Let's open up the Jungle Scout again. Obviously, step one, check how much uh, money it's making compared to what it said it was making. 5,800 pretty decent money right there not too great right not too amazing but again he's probably profiting about two thousand five hundred dollars a month which is still amazing still a lot of money so um, so as you can see here he has another variation right he has a variation here that's selling more than that one so it is a what's the difference here it looks like the same thing to me it's just uh, so as you can see here there's nothing you know again look if there's anything related there's nothing related we're gonna go back and we're gonna see so for some reason he has this and this one it kind of looked the same thing to me but let's click on this one this one's selling more for some reason so let's click on this one and see it's pretty much the same thing guys so this one is selling actually quite a bit so let's just go on again right what you want to do is you want to see the absolute uh, you know the niche you know if there's kind of a niche for elephant uh, elephant nursery lamps if not we're gonna search up for uh, just uh, animal nursery device so let's just do elephant nursery 
lamp. There's not that many nurse, elephant nursery lamps that are exactly like that. So again, if it is not patented, that would be a pretty good one to sell. It's making a lot of money. So let's see, maybe quickly again, you'd want to check. Let's just look at animal nursery lamps. And if we can see, you know, maybe that's a bigger niche. Maybe there's where uh, a lot of the people are searching up, like the main keyword is animal nursery lamps. And see, he is showing up on one of the first ones on animal nursery lamps. So that's probably where he's getting most of his sales from. So if you can get yourself up to animal nursery lamp, you know, get yourself ranked up high there, you'll probably be making a lot of money. Again, there's not a lot of people selling the same thing. I actually haven't seen a single person selling the same thing. So that means you'd have to be very wary, check the patents. It might be patented for some reason or another. The elephant uh, nursery lamp might be patented. So let's leave that one for now. I wouldn't I probably wouldn't go into that, but you never know, it might be a great product. So what we have open up here again is an automatic can opener for seniors. First step, open it up, make sure the web app corresponds directly to the actual sales because the Chrome extension is the more accurate one. Um, because the web app usually takes a little bit longer to actually update how much money it's making. So as you can see here, $7,000 a month, 146 reviews, smooth as, so now we're looking at um, kind of similar products. There's pretty much the exact same product, but it's being sold by the same Bang Nui brand. Might be Chinese, uh, might be a Chinese manufacturer selling it, but let's see. So again, looks pretty good. There's a lot, it's kind of dominated by this Bang Nui guy, but again, what we want to do is we want to check the niche, go to the, go to the um, you know all departments. Always make sure you're on all, all departments, and let's type in uh, automatic can opener. So we're gonna do automatic can opener as that is the biggest um, you know kind of widest uh, umbrella term there, and then maybe we'll go into can opener for. Uh, arth arthritis or something like that right so right now you can see that's the bangle guy that's making a ton of money he's you know spending a lot of money in bbc i'm guessing because i can see him on one of the most broad search terms and he's number one sponsored uh so let's see um right here you can see here's another one bangui guy here's another one it's kind of dominated heavily by this guy um let's just open up you know look this guy's five thousand reviews it's kind of a competitive niche just because there's super um, you know super high reviews here but if we did do so i wouldn't do it that's probably not the best niche and that's probably not the uh, umbrella search term that you would actually rank for at first just because when you're starting you won't have a lot of uh, reviews and a lot of sales so let's just do automatic can opener for uh seniors right because that might be a better uh search term that people are, are, are looking for maybe they're looking for this exact thing so again he's you know paying a lot of money this bangu we got on sponsored products he's always the first one which means that he this is a very profitable uh niche for him again this has 900 reviews almost which is um which is kind of a lot but there are other products you're probably making uh good money too let's just open this one up and see Ooh, it's kind of looking tough here. It's kind of looking like Bangu is the only guy that's making money, but there's a guy here who has electric can opener, El Elmist, thirty dollars, making twenty-two thousand dollars with five uh, with uh, forty-five reviews. Not a bad product. Again, this one I wouldn't recommend for people just starting off, just because it's looking like you need to be doing something. There's something that's happening here. There's a reason why all these guys aren't selling and only these three are selling. So there's something that Bangu is doing right. And you got to find that our bank yeah brain Rui doing right and you there, there's just something there you know something that he's doing that's 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 right and Elmist something that he's doing that's right also so you got to you know it might be the pictures might be the listing might be the keywords something about it is right maybe it's the exact product you guys got to figure that out if you want to do this but for first product I wouldn't do that so let's see this one this is the neck rest looks pretty interesting again the pictures aren't too great I don't know what exactly this is for uh, but, oh, it's shampoo. I don't know what this is. But, guys, if you don't know what it is, it's usually a pretty good product to sell if you don't know what it is. Again, we double check $6,000 a month. Not a terrible product at all. And look here. You can see a related product is making $16,000 with six reviews. Um, now, why is that? Probably because it's a lot cheaper. Um, it's, it's only $13 while this one is $25. So, maybe, you know, scrap this one. Scrap this one. You not not as good this one has six reviews with 16,000 so let's open that one up again if it has 66 reviews it might be a little sketchy because 16,000 is kind of high but that might be because he's doing a giveaway and a giveaway kind of skews the results so you always have to make sure that uh, they're not actually in the process of doing a giveaway if they are it can skew you know it can really shoot up your sales if you're you know kind of giving away you know 
20 a day for three days, right? You'll, you're gonna, the Jungle Scout's gonna show that you're making a lot of money, but really you're kind of just giving the products away for free. So obviously it's gonna show that you're making a lot of money. So you gotta be careful with stuff like that. But in this case, let's open up the Jungle Scout again and see if there are any related products to this product. Now I call this the rabbit hole method. I've talked about it before in the past and you kind of just go deeper and deeper into the niche until you find a product that's really good or until you find the products that are bad and you just decide, okay, let's just find another niche. Let's get out of this one because it's not profitable. So let's open up the Jungle Scout again. For some reason, it's not opening. And there we are. 16,006 reviews. That's exactly what we saw. But where are the related products? Let's see how those are doing. So 109,000 uh, with 368 reviews. That's pretty cra crazy. But uh, that's a cotton bleach proof salon towel. Oh, that's really interesting, actually. Bleach proof salon towel. That's really nice. Uh, might be a pretty interesting niche to go into. The salon niche stuff. This guy's height adjustable portable salon deep shampoo basin. That's crazy. We're definitely going to open this one. It's making, you know, it's $50, so it's kind of expensive. And it's, it's kind of, you know, probably a lot of people won't be able to sell this because it's probably really expensive to ship. It's oversized. And now with FPA fees increasing, it might be kind of difficult to profit off of this. But again, like I said in one of my other videos, um, every time you know the fees increase, they just get passed down to the consumer, which sucks. But it's never really going to be you who's going to be taking that hit because the market's going to balance out to a point where the seller, uh, where the consumer is actually you know paying more. So here's another one: hair washing tray for home or salon use with chair or wheelchair. Like, that's pretty interesting, making a lot of money. Here's another mobile salon shampoo hair inflatable washing basin. Let's open this one too. That's really interesting. So um, this is really awesome. So let's just type in, you know, in this case, when it's kind of a niche, kind of a profitable niche that we just found, um, you want to go into all departments and let's search up uh, shampoo. Let's look at shampoo bowl neck pillow because this might be the main keyword for all of these to show up and we'll see how competitive it really is. So here we are, shampoo, bowl, neck, pillow. I don't know why it's not showing up here, but I don't know what this is. Neck rest for shampoo bowl or salon. Very interesting. There's just so much here, guys. It's kind of overwhelming. There's so many things, but um, they kind of look like they're not really, you know, there's not so many amazing ones here. Let's open up Jungle Scout. I think it's only him that's gonna be making money just because everything else here looks like really bad. Uh, either really bad quality or really bad, um, you know, uh, or it's FBM or something sold by, you know, so shipped from China, so no one buys that anyways. Uh, but let's see how it's looking over here. Really, really low reviews, but again, it's, yeah, they're not making any money. I, that's, that's pretty sketchy. Um, I would definitely be wary going into this particular product just because a lot of them are not making money. But this also because a lot of them are really bad. So if you can maybe get a product that's kind of like this, you'll, you'll make a pretty, you know, pretty penny, I think. Let's look at this one right here. It's an inflatable hair washing basin. Inflatable hair washing basin, huh? Let's open up the Jungle Scout. Again, we see that's making 13,500. Wow, this is a very profitable niche. I guess there's a lot of people who are looking for this stuff, maybe hairdressers or, or, uh, or kind of people who, you know, home use, I don't know, people cut their family's hair or stuff like that. They're probably buying this stuff. So as you can see here, um, there's not many related products, but let's just search up inflatable. This is this is going to be one of our last ones here. We're going to search up inflatable hair washing basin. Let's see what comes up here because I think that this might be a pretty good niche to be in. So, oh, it seems like it's, well, this one is, I guess, for elderly or disabled people just to wash their hair. Wow, that is, again, a pretty interesting niche to be in. Like, you know, you never... There's sometimes I'm shocked with the products that I find. It's like, I never would have thought that something like this existed. And then you look and it's like, you know, there's pro there's a product here that's literally just an inflatable shampoo basin for the disabled, right? And, and obviously you never think about this stuff, but that is a problem that obviously, you know, people face all the time, right? You need to wash somebody's hair. Like, you know, someone who's disabled needs to get their hair washed, but if they're better, then how do you do that, right? So this looks like a pretty, see, we've got a seven opportunity score, which is pretty awesome. Um, and you know, with stuff like this, it's pretty much a pretty cheap product. They're selling it for 20 bucks plus, which is really, really probably pretty healthy profit margins. This is pretty interesting. I like this one a lot, 13,000 with 30 reviews. 
you'd have to make sure that this one again isn't patented because it kind of looks like the only one here but there are a lot of these basins making money now there are some of them not making money at all so be careful with that but see this one right here it's pretty much the same thing but it's not making any money right so be careful with that but uh definitely a pretty awesome product we just found uh in terms of uh the niche pretty interesting probably not the best product one when you're a new seller but pretty good product nonetheless this is a great product also again like i said this one was see not eligible for amazon prime that's the thing see that's what sucks but it is making a killing um this is kind of i guess shipped from from uh, from china just because they've noticed that the the sales are yeah see thirty five thousand dollars a month but it, it's because it's because the the actual um fba fees are increasing and it's and it's really hard to sell oversized product which is what that is but if you can kind of figure out a way to sell that through fba and still make profit after the fba fee pack, uh, pick and pack fee you can definitely make a kill you can make a lot of money and that's a great absolutely amazing product to sell. even with a three star review it's making like a ton of money see this guy's selling through fba actually so let's open up this guy because he's actually fba and he's selling he's selling uh quite a few with only 21 reviews and he has three star rating so again guys this is kind of i would hesitate going into this one just because you know the fba fees are going to be really high for oversized products but it's a really really awesome product to to sell if you can kind of figure figure out how that works it's also pretty expensive which means you're gonna have to figure out how you know you'd be able to actually invest in it. if you have a lot of money to invest in you could potentially buy some of these products but um if you don't it'll be kind of hard to start off your uh, your amazon journey with with this if you're kind of already selling a lot on amazon that you can probably afford something like this so another tool i like to use here right we haven't used it a lot today but it's the amazon fba calculator it's going to show us how much how many fees they're they're paying so in this case the pick and pack fee there you go 21 dollars 50 cents almost is the pick and pack that's guys this monthly fee it's not going to affect many people but it does affect the oversized because this is kind of an oversized product to have a pick and pack fee of $22 almost, that's like eats straight into your profit. So $22 plus $8.69, that's over $30 of this product is, is see, as total FBA fees, $31.57. So out of $57, 31 of them go straight to, to FBA fees. So if you can get this product for maybe two bucks, it's worth it. If you, but if you have to pay like 10 bucks for this product, it's gonna be really hard to profit. You're probably making like, you know, you'll be spending like, a ton of money and only profiting a little bit because of the pick and pack fee and you're gonna be charging people a ton of money too so realistically if you open up the jungle scout here right and let's say this guy's profiting like ten dollars per unit which i think is is probably like pretty decent that means that he's probably making like five thousand dollars for this whole thing so out of thirty thousand dollars a month he's only profiting five thousand which is kind of pretty pretty bad but uh, like in terms of how much he's making versus how much he's profiting that ratio is not so good But five thousand dollars is still really good if you can afford to invest in a product like this That see so sometimes you see products like this you're like wow it's a great product But once you do your due diligence not so good again You'd have to go to Alibaba and see how much it's actually sourcing for uh, and how much you can get it for If you can get it for two dollars great product probably you know you can afford to do it But if it's anything more than that it's probably not uh, not too worth it I think it would probably be more than that so let's look at the next product here. So now we get into the bird feeders. These ones are pretty jokes. Um, I saw, you know, there's there's gonna be a lot of these coming up now. Again, guys, remember this is definitely gonna be a seasonal product. So be careful with this when you're do when you are making your order. But let's look again, uh, check if it is the same money that the web app was saying you was making. So open up Jungle Scout and compare. 68 reviews, probably a pretty good product to sell. Now you know, with these bird feeders, if you can find the exact same one and make the listing better, go ahead and do it. If not, if you, you're kind of just putting out a bird feeder, don't do that because these are going to get really, really competitive really, really quickly. If you don't have products already ready to sell now, right, if you're not already like having, you know, them shipped in and getting them up on, on Amazon right away, you're probably going to be left behind just because the season's already here, birds are already coming out, and, and there's already people who are ready, you know, people are ready for this stuff. So if you're not ready for this stuff, probably not a great thing to sell right now. So I would stay away from these as, you know, for, for now. So bird feeders are really, really awesome. Maybe for next year if you plan for them, but for now it's kind of the season is just uh um, you know we're kind of too late to sell those kind of things right now uh because see this guy's ready he's probably already been selling for a little while he's probably been selling since last year also so um you know these guys kind of know what they're doing but if so as a first you know as a first uh, product don't do something seasonal just get used to the whole process so i'll leave these these two out of it for now but they're very interesting 
for you know planning for next year for next season and you can definitely get into it and make a killing for next year looks you know if you learn this stuff now and you kind of plan this stuff now for next season it's going to be incredible so anyways guys that's pretty much all i have for you today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this you know longer step by step kind of getting into my mind when i'm doing some product research type video um if you guys did again smash that like button really really appreciate it, it really helps the channel grow you know comment uh, again some sort of uh, you know more videos you guys want to see if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know guys i read all of them i respond to all of them and i do and i do listen to you guys you know in the live stream we had last week you guys said you want more product type uh, product research videos here's a super long one for you guys hope you guys did enjoy this one hope you guys are getting you know some value from this and, and are starting to understand more and more how to do your product research and how each product you know how to get into the mind or, or rather how to understand you know which products are good and why they're good and, and how you can succeed by copying and improving on somebody's product uh, and kind of which products to stay away from and which products to go and pursue so there's been a lot of products in this video that were really really awesome if you guys did enjoy the video again like comment share subscribe does you know wonders to this channel helps you know me get my message uh, to you guys and kind of uh, helps our community grow uh, so again that's that I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I think it's going to be, I don't think it's going to be another product research video, but if you guys want, leave it down below. Maybe it will be, and I'll see you guys next time. Remember, you're only one product away.